video blog series where we showcase and highlight some of the interesting and helpful features of the Universal Robot. I'm Josh Westmoreland, Collaborative Robot Specialist here with Cross Robotics, and today we're going to be talking about how to pick parts from a partially loaded tray. Now in the past this was often done using proximity sensors or you know, different methods of sensing whether a part was present or not. But one of the things that we find with our customers in often cases they have a tray that they would be presenting to the robot, but the parts may not be precisely located into a tray. Well, with the Robotique wrist camera, we can tackle both of those challenges at once, and it becomes very, very, very simple. So what we're going to show you in this video here today is how the Universal Robot, in conjunction with the Robotique wrist camera, can tackle both of these challenges at once. So as you can see from looking at our tray, the parts aren't precisely located within each one of their individual sections. And this is how the Robotique wrist camera comes into a big help here. Because not only is it going to identify where parts aren't located, it's going to identify where the parts are located within their each individual section. So the way this works is after you go through the UR CAPS integration and you teach your object to be looking for, when you're taking the snapshot from that snapshot position, What's going to happen is that the Robotique software is going to identify the part with the highest detection threshold. It's going to pick that one first and then sequentially go through the parts until it's cleared the entire pallet. As you can see here, we're clearing the parts where they are located and we're ignoring the ones that have got empty slots. And this becomes a big help from cycle time where you don't have to use the part presence sensor within a gripper to identify if you've picked up an object or not. So we didn't actually talk about how to teach an object or how to program the Robotique wrist camera. And really there's a good reason for it. The resources are already out there. Robotique has done a phenomenal job both in video and written form discussing how to program the wrist camera. With the URCAPS integration it becomes very, very simple. So we'll provide some links how, on how you can easily access that information to help you at your facility. But today, our main goal of this video was to show a real-world application that you may face at your production environment, where the tray is going to be located in a position, but the parts may not be sitting perfectly in the tray, the tray may be partially loaded, and how you can tackle that with the Robotique wrist camera. As always, feel free to reach out to us at any time with any questions you may have, or if you just want to discuss an application in some more specific detail to see if the application you have at your facility is a good fit for this technology. I'm Josh Westmoreland, the Collaborative Robot Specialist here with Cross Robotics. Visit us at crossrobotics.com and we look forward to hearing from you.